on today's video, our final set of primary Ramsey's tests. That is right, in this video, we're gonna go up against a more uh, diverse pair of commanders, one that free to play players might be able to have eventually, low spender players so are going more towards infantry can have and is very viable that is alexander with yi song ye in the background full infantry in this video we'll go over the results of that with ramsey's primary and a bunch of other commanders secondary so if you want to see how that worked out sit back drop a like on the video and let's go Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Gecko Gaming. Our final set of Ramsey's primary uh, tests in this current iteration is up. We're gonna record at least one more against uh, a few other sets of commanders as well as we're gonna now take Ramsey's to be a secondary commander, put a few of these primaries in front of him and see what happens with him as a secondary commander. For now, we're gonna take a look at Ramsey's and someone against Alexander and Yi Song Ye. I'm a sponsored content creator by Rise of Kingdoms. If you enjoy the content, drop a like on it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell. 56% of you are not subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? A lot of you have been voicing a lot of feedback. First of all, thank you for all the feedback. We're gonna implement more of the things you've talked about and asked for and everything along the way uh, in the future sets of tests that we're gonna come up. These were probably the, the first set of real tests that I've ever done. And truthfully, there are a few things that I can definitely do better, including things that I said in the past that I think are a little iffy, which I ended up doing in here. So there's a lot to work on still, but I appreciate every single one of you who stuck with the positive feedback and not just hated for the reasons of hating. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of wasting your time, except for the fact that, you know, I spend probably more time making these videos than you do watching them. So. I don't know if it's a waste of your time or is it a waste of mine, maybe? We'll see. Anyway, let's start off with the tests right away. For the record, this is the equipment that Ramses had on him or any primary commander in this test on my side. And once more, we have AOD's Alexander with that equipment right there on him. And again, this is something we'll fix in a future set of tests as we improve our testing capabilities. So switching it up a little bit, uh, because we, I was with AOD once more, this time we went with Edward Tamaris first, rather than have our Ramses at the front. This is gonna be the control test. We kind of finished that batch of previous tests and then we went to this next one. Edward already had all the equipment on him, so I was like, screw it, we might as well do this first. We expect Edward and Tamaris to do really, really well in this set of tests. It's, uh, it's a very understandable thing, the way Rise of Kingdoms works is archers counter infantry, and this is a full infantry, even though there's a Yi Song Ye in the background. But we can go take a peek at the previous tests as well to see the difference and how well Yi Song Ye did in the back compared to Richard. So in here, we have the result of this rally. It was less than two minutes, believe it or not, a very, very fast rally, 26% of troops remaining, Edward of Woodstock and Tamaris versus an Alexander Yi Song Ye. 9,300 9, compared to the 13,000. If we go take a peek at the other test we did earlier, Edward and Tamaris actually did more damage to Alexander and Richard. And on top of all that, they didn't only do more damage, but they also uh, survived with a little bit more, just a little bit more, not that much. But it goes to show that Maybe that Alexander Richard is not the greatest of all pairs out there. Yi Song Ye could probably do a lot better with Alexander at the front, especially in a more a dense field of action where there's more marches to be fought with that AOE of, Rich, of uh, Yi Song Ye. So an interesting first result, again, Edward Tamaris were expertised, so are everybody in here, and the attack and stats were all pretty much the same as in the previous test that you saw against Alex and, Yi's and uh, Richard. The reason I mentioned this is potentially one march that a free to play or low spender can have is because the normal recommendation is Yi Song Ye to be your first expertise commander. It is one of the best, if not the best commander in the game. And then if you decide to focus infantry, then Alexander the Great is currently the better infantry commander out there. And to show you that you can pair both of these very, very well was the point of this. And now let's go on to the next test where Ramses Tamaris take the field. Ramses Tamaris actually surprised me fairly well in here. It is 
an interesting set of tests because once more, we can now compare Alexander with Yi Song Ye and Alexander with Richard to see how they do against these commanders. Now, granted, Ramses did have indeed the equipment and all that, so everything should be the, about the same. Curiously enough, the results out of this, you guys are gonna really, I mean, I'm not entirely sure if you'll be surprised, but curiously enough, against an Alexander and uh, Yi Song Ye, the results were very different to an extent, especially when it came to surviving the fight. So you can see the report right here. The report was just under two minutes, a minute, 50 some seconds, 15, something like that. Uh, not the biggest of trade-offs, 11,000 for 13,000 looks a very interesting, only 10% more in here, uh, a one, 0.1 to 1.3 situation. Only 14,000 troops remaining really, really interests me here because if we go take a quick peek at, let's go see where is the report with Tamaris and Ramses against Richard. This was substantially bigger. Now, of course, we're talking about Yi Song Ye. Yi Song Ye being one of the bigger, stronger commanders out there in the game. His AOE doing a lot of damage even to the single march. But you can really see the difference in having Yi Song Ye compared to having a Richard in the back with 37,000 troops remaining on this test compared to the, uh, the test that we saw up here, which was much, much, much more interesting. I mean, 9,000 to 13,000, only 26,000 remaining. This is Edward, uh, where's Ramses? Here we go. 14,000 remaining in here against the 37 when it was a Richard. The damage being outputted by Yi Song Ye is dramatic and it is actually hurting your bottom line quite a bit. Alexander Yi Song Ye really stepping it up and proving some things in here. And uh, I actually almost think this test says more about them than about Ramses himself or Tamaris. Remind you though, the heals were not amazing, but then again, the length of the fight was actually shorter as well. Let's go take a look at the next test and see how that one worked out. If Alexander can make good use of Yi Song Ye, I'm hoping so can Ramses. And this test was a very, 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 very interesting one that proves once more. One of the things that I've been mentioning on stream quite a bit when people ask me who to pair their Ramses with, quite frankly, for a long time, I, uh, I said, you know, Edward can remain with Tamaris because that's a great pair and Ramses should probably stay with Yi Song Ye. This test might be a good proof of that. Although Ramses does output a good amount of damage, it seems like Edward fits with Tamaris better. If we take a peek at this test, this test was actually fairly fast as well, about a minute and 28 seconds. And look at this. The trades were almost two for one. The heals were about 50% bigger, which might be a little bit of a thing to keep an eye on. And almost 40% of the march survived, which is actually nuts. It's a lot of troops remaining against an infantry Yi Song Ye led situation. A 40,000 remaining means that you can potentially do a little bit more damage onto another march with AOE around nearby Yi Song Ye doing massive amount of damage. I'm still thinking that if you're looking at primary, uh, uh, Ramsey's primary, Ramsey's Yi Song Ye or Ramsey's El Cid are really the way to go. We're looking at situations like this in which really these commanders have been outputting a decent amount of damage. And when you look at Yi Song Ye, how much more damage he brought to the table and how much less damage was taken by us as in as return to that, plus a little bit of healing. That's a very, very, very cool test to see. So far, Alexander and Yi Song Ye though, doing a little bit better, I believe, than Alexander and Richard. If we go take a quick peek and look at the comparison once more, you'll see a 24% remaining here this time around. Looks like Alexander and Yi Song Ye had a big problem. Richard did much better in this situation. Really, really cool stuff. Honestly, the healing really helps out quite a tremendous amount with 20% 20 more healing means that you'll be doing a little bit more damage, which means much less troops will survive. So it's an interesting situation, right? If you are if you see a Richard anywhere nearby, uh, Ramses will probably do, he counters him well, but, but the Richard is really doing a lot of damage to the final outcome of the match compared to fighting against a non-Richard, even though Ramses has been dubbed the Richard counter by a lot of folks out there. He's not only the Richard counter, he counters a lot of things, but let's move on to the fourth test, which is Ramses and El Cid and see how those guys did in their respective battle.
Ramses and El Cid, definitely one of those tests that, man, I expected much, much more out of it. I've been talking about potentially finally finding a use for El Cid. A lot of folks think of El Cid as potentially a primary commander, have him leveled up to level 60. It depends on which level of the game you ended up picking up El Cid and expertising him. There were scenarios in the early game where a leading expertise El Cid was a viable thing, but if you took your time with it, most folks do have him expertise, but not level 60. And so at not level 60, having a leader that's missing talents is a little bit of a problem. It's why we took him as a secondary for now, as for me, he is a level 40, as that's the max level before I need to start five-starring, six-starring him, and I can expertise him and keep him at level 40. This was one of the longer tests, almost a, a minute and 56 seconds. And if you take a look at the result, I, I'm, I'm cautious to say something, but I am underwhelmed by El Cid against a Yi Song Ye versus an El Cid against, against a uh, Richard. So I'll take a quick peek at the uh, situation that we saw here with El Cid and a Richard. A 9,000, 35,000 troops remaining compared to 16,000 uh, severely wounded troops. Of course, there's a 20% heal in here and there was a much bigger heal in here, I believe, we're looking at uh, half of the heal. That is, of course, because the fight is taking less time. Because there is less heals by the, uh, by the opposing side, as there is no heals whatsoever, the fight goes down quicker. It means less troops can be healed. It means that, well, there are less turns for the possibility of 10% healing uh, chance to happen. It almost seems like Ramses El Cid are actually the good pair against uh, uh, a Richard, but when it comes to having a Yi Song Ye anywhere nearby or not having heals whatsoever, it actually works less better for Ramses. So Ramses' thing is as he only has 10% chance to heal, the longer the fight continues, the more he's able to output one of those skills of his, as well as attack and defense. All the buffs that he has there that are 10%, the longer the fight is, the more Ramses is useful. So perhaps when you target marches using that Ramses, you're looking for the targets that have healing that are the tankier targets that you can really output a lot more out of your Ramses, which goes against really most of the philosophy in this game, which is, you know, you want to target less target the tanks and more target the damage dealers. But in this case, it looks like Ramses tit for tat holds well against the tanks does a lot of damage and the tankiness that they have actually benefit him quite a bit. Maybe we can label Ramses as an anti-tank um, leading commander perhaps where his usability would be more to have someone doing that damage to the tank even though you're more focused on the damage dealers to not let that tank survive for that long. This makes me think about uh, Sunset Canyon and Lost Canyon. All those big tank marches can be targeted by this Ramses and really do a lot of damage. Who will be the secondary? For now, it seems like Yi Song Ye is doing the better job, but El Cid, and when it comes to tanks, seems to be performing a little bit better. Let's go to our final test, which was, um, I believe, Alexander and Yi Song Ye against Ramses Edward. It's just there to be there because we wanted to see every other Archer Commander as a secondary potential for Ramses, just to tick off the box, pretty much. And the reason I say that is because Edward's first skill tells you either he's primary or half of his skill goes out the window. And truthfully, you don't want that. You don't want to be at a situation where you're essentially wasting your commander's best ability by putting him out as a secondary commander. So Edward as a secondary is definitely not recommended. He is a primary commander for all said and subjects. But again, I wanted to take off that box to have that result, to compare it to the other results, just to make sure that indeed some of the things that we believe and follow and do in this game actually are backed up by data. And that data is fairly, fairly there. Although this was interesting. Out of all the tests, we outputted a ton of damage. We did the least, least amount of heals. We had some of the best survival rates out there. I mean, 20, 27,000, 39,000, the victory goes to them for sure, 14,000, and then 26,000. And with Edward in the back, there's actually a huge survival rate, 32% compared to the rest, 
10,000 severely wounded is quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. But then again, everyone else was in between that eight and 10, 11 on this one right here. And to top it off, 16,000 severely wounded on the other side is one of the stronger results of these tests. That again being because of that, that Edward super damage right there. Curiously enough, not something that I would recommend. I would honestly bite the bullet and still put that Ed or that uh, Yi Song in the back over the Edward in the back and uh, take a little bit less damage, do a little bit less damage to and severely wounded, but screw it. This is, this is a good enough trade-off that will allow your Edward to stay free as a primary to Tamaris while this pair right here does the true damage out on the field. But yeah, so far, that's what we're seeing. I'm just a very brief overview of these. I'm still gonna run through these tests one by one and try to see how many times we procced that 10% chance. Uh, we're gonna do more tests in the next week or so after a Cyrus League match. Uh, I'll get a practice match going on with a few folks and get some tests going and then do a bunch of these pairs that you guys requested. Try to do it, do it a little bit less um, less skewed, so with different city skins and with different everything. In the Osiris field, the city skins are less significant, but we'll take care of equipment, city skins, and everything along the way. But keep in mind, we'll have Alliance tech, although we will be in the same alliance, so all is good. For now, I'm Gecko. I'm out of here. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Drop a like on it before you leave. I appreciate those of you who have stuck by these sets of tests. It was the first set I ever did, really. I learned a lot from your feedback and from things that I did wrong. Hopefully we'll be able to do more of these in the future with more commanders in a more thorough way. But for now, this series of Ramsey's primary is almost at its end. We still got to meet a Guan Yu Leonidas, which I'm hoping we'll meet very, very soon next week. And then we'll swap Ramses to secondary, see how that performs against a few of these marches. Now, my final question before I leave, for those of you who stuck around till then, leave me a comment down below and let me know. Do you wanna see all the fights like you did? Or do you want me just to highlight in the fights the good ones and show you all the rest of the reports and that's that. The main reason these videos are relatively long and I'm splitting them up is because to show you every test and then run over every, every report takes time. And so if you guys are looking for something a bit more condensed, we could try to go through the important um, important reports, show you a few of the other ones just as comparison, but not run down through all of them as well as not show all the footage on the screen. Let me know down below and I'll see you sooner rather than later. Take care. Peace.